Try to. <laughs> Try to. Try to. Hey, guys, name's Ben. Playing disoriented. What? I don't remember how that word ends. I must be disoriented. Oh, yeah, climbing all over this. Man, this really is the ultimate in climate woe. Also, it's pretty loud. Thief gold is just. It's not even Thief Gold. <laughs> Looks like Thief Gold. Sounds like Thief Gold. Must be a duck. This really is the ultimate in climbing all over the city type mission. I mean, look at this stuff. This is like oh, gaps and Christians, churches everywhere. Maybe not that last one, but sometimes when you just say things, you have nothing to say and you have to get awkward on everybody's rear backside instead of the front backside. You know, some people have a front backside. It's, you know, don't make fun of them. They can't help it. Mike adjust. Because they're just front backers. And they can have very good jobs as linebackers. Oh, hey. How you, how you doing? I think that uh, you could probably be in my way. So, in order to make you not be able to have that particular profession, I'm going to knock you out. And you'll have to be a thief like me without a job so that you can understand the way it feels, man. Okay, this is, this is definitely a place. There's a river. It's green, just like any good thief gold river should be. And it's also strangely dark. I swear that water isn't normally this... I mean, you could, you could see better when you're above the water than when you're friggin' in this stuff. Anyways, I, don't, I just don't think that is good looking supposed to. Anyways, I think that there's like something awesomely secret down here. And by secret, I mean possibly gruesome. Well, this river's certainly gruesome. It's the Nile. Oh my god. That's like a joke for a five-year-old. Gruesome. Like, jeez. Are you growing downwards, Fen? Yes, you've all got me. You've all got me. I pretend my age goes up, but really it just goes down. And sooner or later, I'm going to start making uh, jokes about the breaking of the wind. And then, well, everything's just going to go downhill from there. Or uphill. I mean, I don't know. Going downhill is an interesting term because, you know, it's supposed to... It's supposed to mean good or bad, depending on how you use it, and it, you know, if you're going downhill, it's easy and it's fun, but it's down. Or if you're going uphill, it's a struggle, but it's up. I don't know, man. Hills are something that I find pretty difficult to comprehend. It's some of that advanced mathematics shit that just people could die and get hanged for. This isn't the place where people get hanged, so my verbal words were completely inappropriate. There's a guy who's gonna come up there. That's not gonna be good when that happens. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta remember that. God, Finn. Remember it. Use this square pick to stir your little memory sieve thingy and remember it. That's right, I do remember one or two lines from Harry Potter. I also remember one book because I used to read those when I was a kid, I guess. Was was pretty long, and I was like, why is this book long, and I want to read this? It, it was pretty great. Anyways, uh, Tarnish Key. Obviously, I would never read or watch any kid's thing as an adult. It's like a stupid thing to even suggest. Scrap of paper. Hey, Gil, look what I found in the canal. There was some commotion up the stream, and the watchdogs fished out a dead old taffer who got swept down to the gate and was too deep in the drink by the time they got him out. This old key fell out of his clothes when they took the corpse. We should ask around. All oh, discreet like who it was and where he was living. Might make a few coins with this old thing. Also, you taffer, I told you not to leave your cash box out on the table just like that. That's practically an invitation for any lock break on the prowl. And then you can run to the watch with that. Only reason I'm not doing it myself is I'm too nice for this city. Oh, 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 you. Yeah. Well, there's that rope arrow that I wasted. It's like, hey, you're gonna spend a rope arrow at the suicide spot? We're gonna give you one back. You gotta help those people who are working around suicide spots. It's a pretty depressing thing, actually. It, it really would, but, but not, 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 not funny. So, yeah, I got the key, which I've immediately forgotten what it was. And it is, uh, it's a tarnished key, so you, again, I don't even know. I, I I don't know uh, what sort of tarnished existence I could unlock with it. Possibly one into an alternate dimension. With Indiana Jones meeting up with a bunch of horses. And him going like, wow. Horses. I like these guys somewhat. Yeah, this is the hanged place. That's Issin's corpse. So I can fulfill my objective now. Accidentally, there's arrows by the hanging place. Like, for some freaking reason. There's no need to shoot the guy. He's already being hanged. Well, I hadn't intended to try to do this objective. But I guess I have absolutely no choice. 
whatsoever. I'm really being forced here. My mouth is gagged and more. <laughs> okay, here's the bridge, which I now don't know where I am going to. I'm supposed to look at the uh, uh, signs of the locksman and the ore stir. Well, uh, if you've got a stir that is called ore, who knows what data could be contained within? This building is condemned. Do not attempt to enter it. I don't know if I've ever entered that. It was maybe one of the warehouses. Possibly. Wait, yeah. I'm just gonna say that it was because I'm going up the way to the bar place, which should be right over here. Once again. Well, what's that up there? Okay. Did I have a freaking re yeah, no credits. <laughs> this bar has nothing to its credit. It's just a piece of old rotten wood with a bunch of stupid booze. Not even good booze, but stupid booze. It's got MS Paint labels on it, but the wine is the most extraordinarily good wine you've ever heard, but it they have to call it stupid booze because of the labels. <laughs> anyway, so this is what you're meant to do, I guess. I uh, somewhat of a okay-ish sneak than I was when I played this the first time, I guess. So Oh, and I'm, but I'm supposed to carry the body down here. That's that's the, the joke. That's the rub. That's the nice yoga massage therapy. Good life having expensive seducement. Uh oh. Uh oh. Who wants to hear of it 50 times more? I'm literally screwed. I mean, not literally. I'm extremely screwed. Hmm. Thought I saw something. Merriam Webster claims that the. Uh, Use of literally to mean extremely dates back to like 1909 or something. That's pretty amusing. Give me a break. Whew. <laughs> ah. Go away. Yes. Well now, your view's not being blocked at all, you smart person, you. Well, this is some nice tension. God. Okay. Not okay. God, I am. Okay. Jeez. This, this is the good episode. Drink it up and grow small or big as you choose. Come on. Oh my god, get out the way. Suddenly I've decided to ghost and I'm paying the ultimate fee. Come on. Think I avoided uh, being mentioned and called a war. I mean, I don't think there's an alternate way in, which is interestingly weird, but it does make for a nice challenge. Uh, this is actually very cleverly builted here. Yes, someone there. Okay. Which way is it going? You're just gonna have to. Deal with me uh, saying a thing quietly this time because I randomly decided to ghost, like I said. Okay, I think I made it. Conspicuous location, eh? <laughs> I think I deserve a pat on the back for that one. Not even a ding dong because it's not even an objective, so there's no need for me to have done that whatsoever. Now I'm going to see if there really was an alternate way in. Probably freaking was. I don't know, but I've just been waltzing up on that roof, and I didn't learn nary a new dance move, so I just have to waltz all day and all night. Oh, this is just here. Oh. Uh oh okay. And never, ever, ever, ever learn a new move. Is the tarnished key gonna work here? I don't know why. I mean, I, I don't know where it would work. There's, like, no clue at all. So, uh, tarnish away. Well, now that I'm done being nice, I can be the evilest bastard that ever did walk the earth. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> I'm even gonna leave this food, cause that's what bastards do if you were born out of wedlock. You just don't eat. Which could be kind of true. Yes, I definitely remember the weirdness and thinking this is like supposed to be a climbing mission, but there's a whole lot more street level stuff than there was in Bad Nets. I mean, I already said that, but nobody ever said that I don't always like to repeat myself. Well, I can't guarantee that nobody ever said something, but, you know, I can say that there's a probability that people have never uh, eaten cake in my presence and said, hmm, this cake is sure existent. And, uh, God. Cut that! 
That also not my greatest line. That! Oh, meet him next to the statue of St. Tenor, and he will have a key ready. That must be that robotic statue that's going to preach to me in a crazy mechanical Turk sort of way. The palace kit straight up. Well done, well done, thief. I don't remember if I had the same voice as before. Probably not. I'm sure you understand why I didn't hang around to see you in person. This is not that night. <laughs> Still, a bargain is a bargain, and here is the key you've been looking for. Coincidentally, the door is right there in the alley to the right, and it leads straight to the palace grounds. I hope you have a rope ready, but in the unlikely event you have none, you may want to visit a small shop close to the gallows. I have heard they might keep that sort of merchandise. So... I don't know if that's the way that you're supposed to get in, or if that's just an optional way. But I'm going to explore the rest of the town first. Okay, I guess I haven't been over... Here, to the old priory. The priory has priority in uh, poking the people until they scream and bleed organs everywhere. Some people have nine hearts, and eight must be extracted in order for a healthy existence so that they don't become an uber time lord. That's like a regular time lord, except super powerful. Too much so to have an interesting story. And they just kind of go around being like, I'm super man, I'm super man. What the hell? Hmm, there's got to be a reason why that door was locked. I don't see anything. Weird! This looks to be hammer territory, so we can definitely stop our big old there? 1960 Dodge who Polaris that? here. That is the car of a real person who has a solid gender or doesn't. That is the car of the future. It can swim in water, it's got fins and everything. This numbers are on the doors. Why are they on the doors? These doors are too wooden and small and flimsy to deserve a big fat submarine looking number behind them. Eh, no wonder the mechanists took over the hammers. They knew how to label doors and the hammers just did not. It was tragic, but uh, oh well. The, the finders are the keepers and the evolved ones are the weak that don't come into their new species of the hammer of the what? Not my tightest talk ramble. Give Johnners led to the builder's plan. Well, I'll give you a concussion. That seems pretty generous to me. I don't just give those out to absolutely anybody. Those guys at the old tavern had to earn their concussions by waiting a few minutes. God, you're not willing to wait. I'm not willing to ruin you for life. Widow's Ham, build a hammer church in the Widow's Lane. That won't be bad luck. I guess this is the palace. It, it's got a B. And Lady Asimlarg starts with an A. Maybe she thought she was better than that. She revised herself and now she's Lady Basimlarg. Uh, she What's can that? charge at 150 yeah, kilowatts. Yeah, there's not too many rope spots. Give this. Yeah. This just isn't as much of a climbing mission, or it's just weirdly so. So in the Widow's Way, there's the St. Tenor's Priory, and there's the Brosius Estate, which I guess I've been into through another way. Eh. No, I went to the Beauregard Estate. The Brosius Estate is something else entirely. Look, there's these chains up here. There's got to be a way for me. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. There's these, but then you get seen. Well, let's give it a try. I don't know about this, man. <laughs> it seems a little bit sketch. Oh, there's a ladder right there. Uh, of course, there's nothing in any of these nooks, but in that one, there's a ladder. Boy, oh boy, these guys are actually pretty smart hiding their stuff. Too smart for me. But is this still the... Is this the Priory still? It looks like regular guards. I went up there. I don't even see a street. Going up. This almost should be the power station or something, but it's definitely oh, an sucks. estate. I guess it's Brocious. Perhaps he can play the loot, or at least compose for the Why? Okay, let's try this again. I I just don't see where the bearings are. Is this actually north up here? I, yeah, this map is a little strange. This mission is also the king of dark that isn't dark. I don't recall this. Hoping that I get a nice bit of uh, valuables. This looks like something from uh, Endless Rain. By which I mean it's got a spiral staircase. I know the helix stair is the way to the heavens. 
You literally, you just say helix stare and put your finger up in a helix pattern and the helix heaven group go, I see you're one of us and allow you into their thieving guild where you can eat all the cake that you want no matter what shape it is or what kind of state of existence it's in. You see? It all connects, though it still doesn't mean anything. Also, there's that door in the cellar still that didn't unlock with the tarnished key. And I don't know if that's yet another door that'll open with the palace key, but he said it was in the alley, so I still don't know what the hell door that is. Please, please tell me. Or just tell me that you got a reference. Actually, people tell me that they got references all the time, I just realized. And then I have to ask them where I said them, because, dude. What? 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 Now I feel like a jerk. Because people be always like, oh, I see that reference you got, and I'm like, where? I don't remember making it. And then they have to point out the timestamp. So, yeah. Scratch that thing I said in Project Eden. Jeez. However, oh, there's still a place with a door kind of up here above the water that I could swear was in this mission. Maybe it wasn't bad debts. I don't know, man. I'm back up here. Huh, that's interesting. There's definitely something in there. It's above that space, and that's just... The ceiling is right in between them. I don't think I've been up there. How the hell? Oh, crap. I jumped onto the roof. <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> oh, amazing. I found that by my freaking self. I just looked and observed my environs, and there's those silly jars. But I looked and observed my environs, and this doesn't work because you gotta look and observe your environs. And there's some equipment that I won't use, and everything. Letter to a thief. Well, I'm a thief. Builder, bless thee, old fellow. Nay, I hath not perished, for the builder looks everywhere, but he looketh not among his own, even when they have problems with the fancy talk. In any event, here is something that may interest you. One of the old vipers, when not scheming against everyone else in the cloister, likes to spin wild tales. One is about your present place, or something close by. It seems a servant in a warehouse near the old Hammer Temple had dark designs on his mind, killed some, and hid their corpses. Now it turns out he was found and broken, the warehouse sealed, but his shade lingers in secret passages and broods on sins that cannot be forgiven. Hope you can sleep easier now, eh, Taffer? By and by, you are not faint of heart yourself to operate from right under the eyes of Our Lady, who has sent so many of us to the gibbet. Bless her little, and I do mean little, heart. If you catch her alone outside the palace, don't forget to say hello on behalf of yours truly as well. Ya know who. Not dual wielding swords day to day. Well, that was awesome. I want to find as many secret places in this mission as possible, because that is the entire point. I guess I'll accept that. Ah, there's a window. You have to remember that. Wait. <laughs> ah. And to climax. I thought maybe you could get up there some more. <laughs> this is the thing I'm remembering. This door. You can't get in there. And I thought it was weird that you could open it. Uh, yeah. Anyway, end of story. Okay. Seriously. The spider's suspiciously coming towards this door. And I can't even hear its little tippy toe tap. Spiders are adorable and cute and need to be recognized as such, god damn it. Not really the case, but they are useful for eating a bunch of disgusting flies. Spiders sure have a disgusting diet. I cannot accept them near my face. Wow, you wouldn't want to anyway. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this might be a script or something. Also, you got hurt twice. Don't go hurting yourself with your pokey spike stabbing knives there. Spiders are nature's psychopathic killer weapon growing plants. Hey, probably can't use those to blow up anything unless... No. Well, what kind of spookerific nonsense am I in for now? A. Um. This is just like that elevator in... I don't know what it was. Was it Endless Rain? Somebody was inspired by somebody else. This is very suspicious. Somebody's very serious copyright... ...is... ...is being infringed. <laughs> what? I think this is not a good situation... ...at all. <laughs> Probably best not even try that. 
Yeah, maybe. I'll just I'll just see if I can get through here and not have to fall down. Yeah. If I was really good, I could shoot an arrow back up at that button. But this is a funny, funny way to go. I just love the layout of this mission. Holy hell with a hammer in it for inexplicable reasons because he acted like a whore. I sure do enjoy this mo- Ooh. Yeah, I guess I can get all the way down to the bottom. If I can. Too bad there's no further elaboration on the Keywell story from Bad Debts. I really wish there would be because it was- But then again, maybe it's best left as a mystery. Yeah, perhaps- Perhaps so. Jeez, okay, so that's... The bottom. All right. Anything under? No. Well, all right, let's go to the suspiciously endless rain-looking area. Very suspiciously, except there's not a zombie, but there's an elevator. Rip off. Wow. So many choices. So many coitzes. So many coitzes. A coit is apparently a thing. And I found a hidden switch. Completely by accident, because I like clicking around. Oh, is this going to be the tattered key? Well, it's got to be for something. Why not this? Oh, it's a tarnished key. It is. Ah. Uh, okay. What? Wait, 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 wait! I remember this too! I remember this too. Oh my god. Yeah, that's funny. I was hoping to explain this place more properly, but I instead I forgot and just stampeded directly into the actual solution completely by accident. Yeah, it opens that. Anyways, let's pretend that never happened and I'll explain the hilarious thing about this place. <coughs> okay, so, you got these big machines here. And you're like, oh crap, you gotta turn these things. Because you can see that there's a secret door there. And, you know, you're like, what is the puzzle here? This is so freaking complicated, how dumb and annoying, I can't figure it out. And people are posting all on the forums like, I can't! Figure that thing out, but it's actually all just a red herring. Even the movement and everything. <laughs> the switch is just uh, right here, which, when you know, is actually pretty funny. But uh, questionable gameplay decision, perhaps excellent real life decision. Yeah, and I, I could swear there's a note about it somewhere. I must just have missed it, but it's pretty funny but I didn't laugh or say anything amusing about it, so it's not particularly funny. And there's an underground keeper compound. Somebody really was inspired by somebody else. Hey, do I hear a ghost? There are no ghosts in the keeper compound ever. Keepers are way too smart for that sort of thing. Wow, yeah, this is pretty creepy. Busted up floor, keeper library. Man, mission's got some of everything. Well, no, it's got some climbing and it's got some keeper library. That's not everything that's... Frickin' two things. Also, it's got lots of secrets, so that's frickin' three things. Hey, handwritten instructions. Hey. Keeper Bernard, by order of the Keeper Council, you are to leave your former tasks and observe these new instructions to the best of your ability. The previous moves in Downlock were well executed, and your solution to the involvement of the new acolyte, if dangerous, was appropriate. Concerning the matter of Asimlarg, you also did well. Her attention is now fully on the perceived threat, giving us time to consolidate our efforts in the lower locks. Nevertheless, she is intelligent and dangerous, and her nightly activities may bring her even closer to our designs. Indeed, it might well be that she already suspects our existence. Watch her closely, but do not move yet unless a direct threat arises. Instead, your attention must be turned to Webster. His desire to be warden of the lower locks is well known, but in this situation, Reputo could also have a say in the matter. It would be best if the affair was resolved to the benefit of neither party, and both would be severely compromised. The Council suggests that discord among the criminal element may be the key to ultimate success. Signed, Keeper Nicholas. Why does this note seem recent, yet everywhere is all busted up? Maybe they're just very bad at maintaining their floors. Floor maintenance, if you will. So I, I guess that's that. Some loot in a letter. Fine with me. Wait a minute. There's books here. Books in a library? On the Hidden Doctrines, in the previous chapters, we have discussed the approaches to maintaining and perpetuating the secrecy that shields us from material destruction. Yet this is only a barrier before external threats, not spiritual or ethical contamination. 
the lessons we learned so hard, and whose costs ever haunt us in locations that will not be named here, so that, even among us, they should fall before silence and forgetfulness, are also lessons for times that are yet to arrive. It is the reason why the pursuit of truth will not be straightforward, lest its burden fall too hard upon one man, or give rise to destructive ambitions. It shall be divided into parts, and cloaked in falsehood and manifold contradictions. This will likewise divide and confound the avid seekers, those whose desire in our order is not self-perpetuation, but a mutation of our purpose towards other, even if more altruistic ends. These are, then, the hidden doctrines. To encourage balance is to encourage dissent. To ferment doubt among the ranks of those who lust for truth eclipses their lust for self-discipline. To this end, contradictions have been placed among the teachings, false books among the tomes of knowledge. There are now lies within every bookshelf, and a forest of misdirection rises in every library. There are those who say this is a malicious threat from within, a ploy to render the order infirm and impotent, lost in a hall of mirrors and false mirages. Yet is there sudden and merciless war against those who have been discovered complicit in this matter proof that they themselves always represented a threat to the order, or a sign that the schemers within have indeed succeeded, and Keeper kills Keeper in his sleep, and in dusty passages over what is truth? Have these books worked their nefarious effect? Indeed, it seems that even transparent lies muddle truth, giving rise to sudden doubts. And in this same spirit, my reader, have I always lied to thee. Note, this material has been identified as a false doctrine and is not for dissemination. No evidence is in support of its theses, and the events it describes are present in no records. Nevertheless, a request has been submitted to the Higher Council for further clarification, Keeper Gale. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I see you there. The genealogies of family Pazar. And in the days when men rose against the rule of the trickster, did a man come out of the woods with the others, and his name was Yong. And Yong begat Kham, and he saw four hundred and ten moons. And Kham begat Fide, and he saw three o oh, five moons. And Fide came to the place of the great rivers, and he begat Kol and Dace with the river, just like a jellyfish, ere he perished at four hundred and seventy-four moons. Then Kol slew Dace, and was made to break stones in a pit. This is the Bible, literally. Yet Kol begat Dolm by a woman of the woods, and saw three hundred and fifty-three moons. And Dolm begat Cuff and Yorick and Bell, seeing only two twenty-eight moons. Of the three, only Cuff lived, whereupon he was taken by those who watch. And those who watch said to Cuff, There will be yet come a day when you will be put on a wrist, also when your children shall see a great village, and they shall then be called Pazar, and they shall be one of the founders of a line which shall rule yet not rule. But Cuff believed them not then, and went instead to the place called Crags. cleft and dwelt there. One day, Cuff came upon a man, and this man, seeing Cuff, took a sword and said to him, Surely I have found the one I have been looking for. But Cuff was faster, and dashed the man's brow with a stone. Then, fearing greatly for his life, he fled into the hills. When at last he emerged, those who watched told him again, What we have told you is drawing nearer, and it is time you became as us. Note, this fragment, obviously, of great antiquity, is nevertheless of no historical worth, and has been marked as heterodox material. The attempt to reconstruct a hagiographic family history had, doubtless, been contaminated with material providing a rudimentary hint about our existence, and was removed to this location lest it be discovered by a casual reader. Keeper Gale with an odd symbol in his face. That's pretty sweet. Read the books well. I think we are drawing near to the end of this episode. Not the best episode, but it was an episode. Episode. Scanners. Scanners. I don't want to hear about your real meat. I'm Control, and I'm going to teach you just what meat can possibly be. And uh, this is the end of a passage from the sewer. It's amazing. And there's this door that takes forever to unlock. And it brings you out in front of a waterfall. How do I know this? Because I'm psychic. Okay.
So yeah, you just exit out here, you get some arrows, and then you fall down. Or if you're possibly super lucky, you can maybe get under that edge. Some wood up there. Oh, this is that place with the wood. Huh. Huh. <laughs> I can't see anything. Jack Spaniel. Ah. Oh. Is this another way into the palace? Oh, I can't. You know what? I'm going to end the episode here because seriously, it's getting pretty long. So see you guys next time and bye for now. And see you guys next time for more excitement and bye for now.